application is to open in Birmingham next September. But growing demand for secondary school places in the city means it's already oversubscribed. Birmingham is the youngest city in Europe and will need nearly 11,000 secondary school places by 2019. Compare that with Sandwell, who only need an extra 4,500 places by 2024. Meanwhile, Herefordshire, Warwickshire and Dudley say they have no shortage of places. The University of Birmingham School in Selly Oak will have full-time trainee teachers in all its classrooms alongside fully qualified members of staff. And Jana Gadgill reports. This is how it looks now and this is how it'll look in September. When University School Birmingham opens in Selly Oak, it'll be the first of its kind. A place for pupils to learn and trainee teachers to learn the trade. The classrooms will be bigger because they're designed uh, for, uh, to have visitors in there and teacher trainees in there. So their smallest classroom will be 50 metres squared. We've got lucky to have nine laboratories of at least 90 metres squared. The lockers are going to be in the corridor, so again that gives us more space. And that allows us to have more flexibility in the classroom. It's costing £23 million, mainly funded by the Department for Education, part funded by Birmingham University. All lessons will be streamed live and there's a longer school day. Half the pupils will come from Selly Oak, with children near the stations at Hall Green, Small Heath and the Jewellery Quarter making up the rest. Birmingham's young population is rising faster than elsewhere in the Midlands. There's been a 25% increase in the birth rate since 2001. By 2019, almost 11,000 extra places will be needed. When this building's full in five years' time, there'll be 1,150 pupils here. Next year's September intake will be 350 into the first year and the first year of sixth form, although they've already had 2,000 families expressing an interest. They've put on extra open days like this one this afternoon. I think it's going to be a really good opportunity, um, you know, for any child um, coming from an inner city area. It just seems like it's a different type of school. It seems to be the school of the future. But with such high praise before it's even opened, is there a danger that all the city's high flyers will desert its other schools? I do recognise our responsibility to, to try and help other schools. So if we're involved in developing uh, teaching practice, there's no reason why you know other people you know, so we can't do training courses here. The sixth form is selective, but pupils won't get preferential treatment for university admissions. Although such close links to the Selly Oak campus surely can't hurt their chances. I'm Jana Gadgill, BBC Midlands Today. Joining me now is Dr Adam Bodison, who leads the Centre for Professional Education at Warwick University. Good evening, uh, Dr Bodison. Good evening. What do you think of this model of school then, this university teacher training school? Well, I, I think it makes absolute sense where universities have got real expertise that they should uh, share that uh, wealth of knowledge uh, with local schools. Um, Birmingham, much like Warwick, is rated outstanding for its uh, teacher training provision uh, and it makes absolute sense that they would uh, choose to focus that resource in this way. So if it makes such great sense, why hasn't it happened before? Well, I'm not sure that this kind of thing hasn't happened before. It may have happened in a different way. Um, I think universities have always been involved with schools. Um, it, it's just now that the, the boundaries between uh, FE, schools, HE, they're blurred in a way that hasn't been the case in the past. And what that means is that you've got expertise in universities now around school education, which wasn't the case maybe 10 or 15 years ago. And so these kind of partnerships are a more realistic prospect now than they ever have been before. It's quite a confusing picture for parents though isn't it because given the choice of schools available to them including free schools and academies which aren't under local authority control how can parents be sure of a consistency in quality of education that's a really good question um, and it's not one that's uh, necessarily easy to answer. I think there are a number of uh, stakeholders now involved in, in really making sure that uh, schools uh, deliver and, and that young people uh, have the best possible outcomes they can. Um, I know that the, there are these appointments around regional schools commissioners uh, and they will have a real responsibility around academies and free schools and so on. Dr Adam Bodison, thank you for your time this evening. You're with Midlands Today, coming up later in the programme.